Hello everyone, it's our Grasshopper Tutorials for the University of Queensland School of Architecture, Christina here. And now we will try to use lists, specifically shift lists component in our design to see how can it influence the form generation. We will start directly from Grasshopper. No need to draw anything in Rhino at this point. So let's start with a curve and draw a circle. Plane can stay the same, I don't mind it. Let's just specify the radius with a slider just to be able to control it. Yep, I'm okay with that. Now we will copy it using move command. So let's take move command and move it and move it up with a vector, it's Z direction, let's specify some factor maybe 20, yep, that's pretty much what I wanted. Now let's extract the curves out of that that we will use later. So let's take curve and so this goes a bit lower, this goes a bit lower too, for the ease of understanding. Okay. We will need two curves. One will represent lower circle and the other will represent the higher circle. Done. Now I want to divide both circles. And to divide circles I will use Command divide curve, divide curve, and I will need two of them. Can't use the same one, you will see why. So here is the curve, and here is the curve. Although I can use the same count for both of these components, and let's divide them in 10 segments. Okay, both are divide, divided. Um, to see how are these points numbered, we'll use points list. Point list, here it is. Point, probably two small numbers to see. Okay, now I see it. Let's see if it's the same for this curve. Yep, that's the same. Actually, why not having it here? So the same position on the curve for each point on both of the curves. Next step will be is to take one of our circles. Let's work with the lower one and shift the numeration of the points on the curve, on the circle itself, which is a curve. So let's go to set, shift list, and shift the list of our points. Let's say four, four is enough. I will have to hide this one, so it's not on my way. Wrap, let's say true, although it's true anyway, but I want to be sure about that. Boolean toggle, true, wrap. And we will, we can just take this component not to make two of them and see what happened. What happened is our list of points has shifted, zero was here. And now it shifted on four points and now it's here. Next step will be to connect the points with lines. So component line, it's located in curve, line, primitive, here it is. So the start will be shift list and the end will be this point. Okay, as you can see, they are connected in order, 
So zero is connected to zero. I'm not sure if you can see it. Zero to zero, let's maybe um, lower the shift so it's a bit more visible. Yeah, three is okay. So one is connected with one, zero with zero, and so on and so, and so forth. Now to generate something more solid, let's try to loft something, probably lines. So we have lines, they are curves, and they are lofted. Pretty interesting. Could be sharper, could be less sharp, whatever, it works. If we did not shift it, it would be lofted in this way. Since we have it shifted, it's like this. And they can, the um, lines kind of um, twist around, forming this interesting shape. Just in case if you would like to play with uh, the loft. Here we have options, actually there should be a comment called loft options. Yeah. It goes here. Actually this would make more sense. And we have closed loft here, which should be false, because if we close it, let's see what happens. Toggle, boolean, toggle, yes. Now it's not closed. If we close it, we'll lose the gap. Right? Then um, adjust. Don't really need it right now. Rebuild. Or we could rebuild it. Nothing changes here. Type. Type can be also controlled by, um, as you can see, type is represented by, if you hover your uh, pointer over the type, you will see that loft type 0 for normal, 1 for loose, and so on and so forth. So we'll need a slider from 1 to 5. We'll just do it this way and put it here. And you can see how different options of loft change the geometry. This is 0. 1 is 0 was for uh, normal, 1 is for loose. Let's try tight, this the tight kind of loft. Straight, interesting, developable. And the last one, uniform, which is also kind of nice. That's, that's it. That's how you use one of lists components to generate your design and using other components just imagine how much you can get and how fun can it be. Thanks for your attention. That's it for now.